trying to do something similar um, in Brockton as we did to, uh, here in Appleton. Uh, this building houses 130 units. Um, the building in Brockton is 113 units, um, and 42 of those units are dedicated for artists. This building is, um, if you, there's a preference for this building for all of the units, so all 130 could be artists, but they aren't. Um, just it's the way we lease stuff. So our goal in Brockton is to do uh, 42 artists live workspaces, ones and two bedrooms, and um, it's a new building, and this is a rehab, so the spaces are going to be different, but still um, live work style, open concept, with 3,000 square feet of gallery exhibition space on the first floor. Um, so that's what we're doing there, and it's going to be different than this, but similar in some respects. So I'll have Dan kind of give you the program here, then we're going to meet some of the folks that live in the building, and then we're going to tour a couple of the units. Great, so let me just spend a couple minutes talking about this building itself and, and why it came together as, as artist housing. Um, when we were designated developer by the city of Lowell, one of the things we heard um, from the community very clearly was that uh, gentrification was a concern. Uh, in a lot of places that are have these thriving arts communities like Lowell, uh, they become uh, attractive to other people, uh, people move in, the rents go up, and the artists are displaced. So they didn't want that same paradigm to repeat itself here. So there was a strong call for uh, affordable housing, but specifically affordable housing for artists. And that's really what we heard from the community, and that's why we decided to do Appleton Mills and program it as affordable housing for artists. So as Matt said, there's 130 units in this building. Um, just about 75 to 80 percent of the units are occupied by artists. As Matt said, there's a preference for artists. It's not mandatory that you're an artist to live here, but in the application process, um, if the building was full and we had an artist versus a non-artist, the artist would rise to the top of that, of that list, the application list. Um, so we have artists from all disciplines represented. Um, <clears throat> when we were filling the building initially, I had the joy of meeting a lot of these artists. It was really a fun process. We had uh, cartoonists, culinary artists, uh, singers, songwriters, um, potters. Um, it was really ran the gamut, and uh, I think it was a really, it was a, a fascinating experience for me. But it also kind of reflected the diversity of, of arts um, interests here in Lowell. Yeah. He takes over our atrium. Gorgeous. Because they're huge, vibrant pieces, though. 